love metal band. If you're not up on what love metal is, lead singer Ville Varlo tells us it's like the poster from the movie Gone with the Wind, with Clark Gables embracing Vivian Lee with the sunset behind them. Best to watch the package, I think. I never dreamed Wicked Game may have been a huge hit for Chris Isaac, but the same is also true for him, a dark romantic rocker from Finland. I'm a huge Kiss fan, I started playing because of Gene Simmons. It was so cool with the full time and blood and fire and out of the start, so it was the most important thing for me when I was still. Most gloomy pop and can be romantic, wimpy, smooth, type of that. It's like Roy Orbison playing with Black Sabbath. I like a mixture of 50% of heart and 50% of um, balls. These are some more records from Michael Jackson, that peanuts. No, but that's a bonus. That would be a bonus, yeah. <laughs> English language of fucking well anyway. You know, we grew up with bands like Kiss and Black Sabbath and stuff like that, so it came up quite naturally. And, uh, I don't consider that there'd be loads of uh, interested people to hear a band that sings in Finnish outside of Finland. And Finland is a small country, so you can't, when you're a musician, you can't really make a living out of it. So, and uh, I've always loved traveling, so you have to do it in English. We didn't start the business because of uh, uh, fast cars and big titties and loads of money was started mm -hmm. because we're, we fell in love with Ozzy's voice and he's a butler's bass playing and all that stuff. It's more about music. This life ain't worth living. Put your every musical conversion on tape and look that it sounds a bit like this, you know, to be able to pay your rents and come with I think actually that there's not so many good rock bands around. This moment. It's starting started to get a bit better a couple of years ago, but there's you know, not not any more Metallicas and Aerosmiths and uh, not a really you know big but we lose we, we, we've lost the big bands in there. If you think about seventies or the late sixties or whatever, you get loads of bands and tour constantly and really big bands and really successful throughout the world. Now it's like the scenes are too far from each other. It's like a, you have that corn Limp Bizkit, kind of American, whatever you call it, and then the European Scandinavian stuff, and but it's like a bit distant from each other. It's really important to be a fan, you need to be just full of yourself and, and you know, pretend that you're the best. You're never the best, there's always somebody better. You just try to do the thing you're doing as best as you can. That's a sound sentiment.